you know what it takes to be number one. At State Farm, so do we. Live on this one near side, got a man, here's Dontrell, and then makes the catch! Oh, what a grab! He goes over the shoulder! He's a, he's a kid that I see that could be probably our best guy at the position. Um, so I expect big things from him. Erica, straight drop back. Pocket holds up. He's live with this one down the field, and it's going to be caught. What a catch by Chris Burke. He has the ability to, at times, stretch the field. He's real elusive, and he's physical. So at times, a DB might be scared of all three of those capabilities because they don't know what to guard. They don't know if he's coming up to, you know, physically put his hands on him and headbutt him like he does or run past him or come out of his routes quick and fast like he does. And Chris Berg reminds me of Hans Ward. He, he's, a, he's a kid that can do anything. He'll block you, he'll get in your face, he's not intimidated by you. He'll catch the football, he can run routes. He is probably the most complete football player we have on the offensive side of the ball. Out of the shotgun, fires the pass near side right. Ball is caught there by Inman, stays on his feet, he's gonna get out of bounds, nice job. Probably just his knowledge and feel for the game. I mean, he does a lot of things that are more of instinct than like, you know, just coaching. And I feel like that that definitely plays a good part in his, in his production on the field. Just knowing, you know, some things that everybody doesn't know and just making it happen. The ability to move like he moves in the slot. I just want the capability that he has to go against those linebackers and the way he maneuvers and he's so smooth in the, in the slot. I wish that I could have that capability. I mean, I've, I've never shied away from contact, and I mean, we as a group pride ourselves on being physical, and you just got to be fearless out there. You, if you know you're going to get hit, you just got to do your job. I mean, it's part of the game, so just got to take it in stride. Three receivers bunched together on that left side. Verica throws over the middle. Touchdown! He finds Chris Byrne in the end zone, and Virginia has the lead again. The plays need to be made. We come to each other. Either I'll come to him and be like, you know, the offense is not going to roll unless, unless we get something going, unless we make a big play. And like in the game, when Chris made that, that big catch, I was, I was telling Chris right as we was jogging down the field, switching fields, when the quarter ended, when he came to me, he said, we gotta make a play. One of us gotta make a play in order for us to, to put this game away. That, that play was definitely just so effort on Mark Berg. I mean, he just threw a pretty ball, and I just had to fight through a little contact and just ended up being a perfect ball placement, perfect time, and I just had to make the play. I see a quiet leader. He doesn't say much, but when he does say something, you know that he means it. At times where, like if the offense is lackadaisical, he will come to me like, you gotta pick it up. We, we feed off each other. I mean, if he makes a good play, it, it lifts up the whole wide receiver core. If I make a good play, it lifts up the whole wide receiver core. So we, we definitely feed off each other pretty well. We have to keep our tenacity, and we have to keep our edge, and we have to focus on Every time a ball is in the air, that it's our ball. We have to focus on uh, being the best group physically, collectively, and mentally on the field. Establishing, you know, that we're capable of scoring touchdowns early definitely, I feel like that's going to carry us a long way throughout the season because it can't happen.